Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode three in our video series where I take you from having an app idea to having an app on the App Store. So today's episode is about UI design. So remember episode one, we described the idea. Episode two, we did the whole UX design process. If you don't know what I mean, go check them out. The link will be in the description. Today's episode is about starting the design. In order to do that, what I always like to do is to get inspired first, because when you're not a designer, it's very hard to start with a blank page. But since, since I'm an indie developer, I have to do everything myself. So first thing is getting inspired. And then based on that, we're just going to combine a few things and try and come up with a beautiful design. Let's get started. My process to get inspired is just to go check a few websites, look at other people's work, and hopefully find something cool around our theme. Remember, our theme is going to be around music, piano, artists, uh, and it will create a mood board. So I'm going to just save a bunch of things, drop them into Sketch, and then based on that, try and come up with a, a, a nice starting point, basically. The first website I always like to go to is Dribble. Um, it's a huge bank of resources where designers basically share all their work um, and most of the time we can find really interesting things on there. So what I'm just going to do here is search for iOS app music. For example, we can start from there and just try and look, and look at anything that could be interesting. Um, And here at this stage, really take whatever comes to, to your mind, whatever you think might be interesting, and even though we might not use it later on, but anything that catches your attention, just, just grab and paste it in there. And then at the end, you'll see that we have a nice, nice looking mood board that can really be inspiring. So here I'm looking for any kind of gradients, any kind of layout that I find interesting. Um, anything related to piano, obviously, we're going to look for as well. Um, it's going to be different things here. Some nice looking icons. And you see that I'm not even trying to download all these things because this is really just an inspiration. Um, I'm not planning to copy these guys like this. It's not the point. It's about just finding inspiration. Also looking for random iOS 11 designs because obviously with iOS 11 many things have changed and we want to make sure we're in the trend. A nice looking mood board. All these images were taken from Pinterest and Dribble, as you've seen in the in the time lapse just before. I think with this, we've got enough to start thinking about the design of our own app where I'll sell these piano sheets. I hope I gave you the sense of how I do my design research and how I find inspiration before actually getting the work started. So this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think of these time lapse, because if you'd like to see stuff at a slower pace then you need to tell me drop that down in the comment if you like it or if you don't like it 
then I'll adapt for the future videos. In the next video, we're designing the first screen of our app and that's gonna be exciting and awesome. I still don't know how it's gonna look like, but I have the mood board and I know what I need to design. So it's gonna be fun. Stay tuned and see you in the next one.